Hey, Mike and Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Wisdom by Templar Cornhole. This is a very unique bag. Two materials that I've never seen before, never played with before. I'll do my best to break them down and kind of describe to how they feel and what they compare to for you guys. But it's definitely a unique bag. I, I love throwing unique bags. Templar, so far, this is the third bag that I reviewed, and they have unique materials in all their bags, and it, it makes the bags a little more exciting to review, something different. So let's go ahead and dive in, break this bag down, do my best to explain to you how this bag plays and what I think of it. So, so aside, this is this slow side material is again it's unique. It, it plays uh, it plays about a four speed. I think it's got a lot of control, but that's when it's broken. Brand new, it plays quicker. Brand new, it's stiffer. I didn't like this slow side at all when this when I first got this bag. Even after I did a uh, tall salt treatment on it, you just have to you can you can use whatever breaking method you want on it, but you still got to go out and you got to throw the bags. You got to beat them up to really soften this slow side and break it in properly. Uh, get about a four speed. It has a a suede feel to it. If you ever thrown a uh, you know a, a bag that has a suede material like the slow side of the slide right, so if you've thrown those, that's kind of the feel you get to it. However, this is not as thick. It's not as stiff. It's a it's a thinner material. It's looser. It has more more pliability, more flop to it than that. But it has a similar feel to that suede. Almost plays a little bit like that. So four speed on the slow side, ton of control. It's a great bag, a great slow side material for harder throwers or faster boards. It also gives the bag a lot of a lot of ability to, to to shot shape with it because of the control you get the slow side, and I'll get more on that in playability. Fast side again, new material. It, it, it's about an eight speed. I think Templar calls it an eight, and I think I, I agree with that. Probably about an eight speed on this fast side here. It, it it's it's fast enough to push collect. Uh, it to best describe to me when I first saw this material, it reminded me of the slow side of the Cat Two, which is the same material you find on the fast side of the B Three Prime, the fast side of the Titan Talon fast side of the fly raven it, it's a material that you don't see a lot of but you do see around i like that material this had a similar look to it similar feel to it it does play a touch faster than those materials so i would call this probably more like an eight speed on the fast side as i mentioned uh, it, but but it, it's 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 got a wonderful feel to it i love the way it plays it runs you know very nicely up the board great for that push and collecting so we're looking about a four eight speed on this bag template wise this is a medium template bag it's, I'm gonna call it a medium fullness, but it's on, it kind of borderlines more on the the floppy side of that medium than the full side. The bag has a lot of flop to it. When I first got it, the bag, again, the bag was stiff. It didn't have a lot of flop. It, 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 it was stiffer than I expected. And that's one reason I didn't like it. As I've thrown it, it's really starting to flop up. I do think there's more flop to this bag as you throw it more. But again, it's not an overly floppy bag. It's not an overly full bag. It kind of falls in that medium fullness for you. The fill in here, I think it's a, I think it's 100% flat fill. I, from what I can tell, I, if it's a mixture, it's mostly flat. I don't feel a lot of different fills in here, a lot of different beads and stuff. I feel mostly that 100% flat fill, which gives the bag a little bit softer landing, takes some of the kick out. So if you don't throw the flattest of bags, it's not going to punish you on that. In fact, let's go ahead and jump into playability on this one. I'm kind of talking about that. And so to me, this is a bag designed more for the harder thrower or the player who likes to land the bag deeper on the board as opposed to that higher finesse for a player. Because of the the, the 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 stickiness of this slow side, it really wants to grab and stop. If you're not a hard thrower, if you're more of a finesse or a higher arc thrower, you're going to have a hard time getting this bag to slot the board, and then you're going to have a hard time pushing, collecting, because it does stick. Which, the stickiness of this bag makes it great for throwing blockers. If you do throw a blocker up there because it's going to cause bags to kick off of it, for me, I found I really like to play this bag when I was throwing this bag as I was throwing it, trying to break it in. I really learned I like to play this bag more of a, I wanted to land the bag deeper on the board, land it, you know, up at halfway or beyond halfway close to the hole because this this slow side wasn't going to just fly off the back. It had a control. I can land it deeper, which took some of the kick out of the bag because even though you know, I mentioned the bag is forgiving with this flat fill, it does have a little bit of kick to it. If you do have some some tilt to your throw, it's going to kick a little bit on you. But the kick also leads to the to the ability to, to cut the bag and to shape shots with it, which is this bag is awesome at that. I'll get to that in a moment. But by landing it deeper on the board, you 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 reduce a lot of that kick, right? Because if you land the you know the bag two feet shy of the hole, it's got a longer path to travel. And if it if it lands and starts to kick, it's gonna be further off course by the time it gets to the hole. If you land the bag a foot from the hole and it starts to kick, there's a good chance it's still gonna catch the edge of the hole and kind of pull itself right back in there. And that's what the, that's why for me I found landing this bag deeper on the board just fit for me for throwing this bag than if I threw it like I normally would. And, and the type of player I think that that works with is if you're a little more inconsistent with your landing, you know, you struggle with the depth and, and being consistent in safe spot. And if you land it deeper or, or shallower down on the board, like most people do, you find yourself sometimes throwing it short, hitting the dead spot or even front boarding it. 
So for, for players like that, if you go deeper on the board, you give yourself a little bit more of a margin of error, you know, if you're shorter or longer. And a bag like this really helps because, again, it doesn't punish you if you land too close to the hole. It's not flying off the back. It's got a ton of control. It's going to still stick. It's probably going to still grab the hole and go in for you. So that's where I think this fits. Also, again, if you're a harder thrower and you like to throw more of a power thrower, lower arc, uh, you know, and, and you don't like carpet bags, right? This to me plays a lot like a carpet bag, but it's not a carpet material. And there's some of you out there who just are always asking me, hey, what's a good control bag, but I don't want carpet. This wisdom is it, right? It's got a ton of control like you do with the carpet bag, but it isn't a carpet material. And, and the bag also has, as I mentioned, the shot shaping capabilities, right? You can throw cuts with this. I think this is a bag that you probably can roll or flop. Maybe not the, maybe not the best bag to learn to roll or flop on, right? If you're if you're starting to learn to roll, this probably isn't the option for you. But if you're a rollback thrower, average to above average rollback thrower, this is definitely a bag you're going to roll. Again, a bag you're going to cut. For me, it's a bag where if I had a blocker up there, I'm going to throw cut shots. I'm getting around the cut shot, snaking around it more than I am. Or, or I'm going to flip it over and you're going to push her plenty fast enough on the fast side to push her and collect. So the, the shot shape and ability is there with this bag. It reminds me a lot of a carpet bag and the way that the shot shape and the style of game you can play with it. Right, It kind of has a lot of that carpet characteristics, but it's not as full as you would get with a carpet bag. It doesn't have that bouncy feel you traditionally see in a carpet bag. So if you're looking for a, a, a bag without that bouncy feel, a bag that's got a little more flop to it, but a bag that has the control, this wisdom is definitely what you're looking for. And honestly... When I, I said when I first started throwing, I didn't like it. If you get a set, give it time. Just give it time to break them in. You're probably not going to like them initially, but I promise you, the more you throw them, the more you're going to like them, the more you're going to get used to them. You know, and, and the bag really, even though it has this control, I mean, the the, the the negative I would say with this control is is I did find time to time bags were hanging on the hole. Bag, bag will come up there and they want to hang on the hole. And, and, and But as long as I had another bag to throw, they were pretty collectible. Like, I mean, I didn't have a problem to coming through collecting I typically, you know, you come fast, I come across, clip it. You could take it right in. The bags are full enough. They're not accordion up. So if you wanted to cl collect a bag, you could do it. So they're definitely very collectible. So if you do want to play a dirty style of game with this, you want to play more of a blocker, more a lot of blockers cause a lot of congestion and clean up at the end. I think you can do that with this bag pretty well. Again, for me, it was more of a, it's more of a bag where I'm, I'm wanting to run, you know, land deeper, run hole for hole and have the ability to get around blockers where my opponent throws them. Maybe throw the occasional block if I want. If I want to play more of a dirty style game, I think I want more of a carpet bag than I would this. But that's my personal preference. Again, if you don't like carpet, but you want to play the dirty style game, you can do this with them. So anyway, I love the control of the bag. I love the way the bag plays. Uh, it, it's it's definitely a fun bag to throw. And I, th I think if you if you like the control of carpet, but you don't like the carpet materials, this wisdom is what you're looking for. So that leads me into availability. And Templar has a website. It's templarcornhole.com. The wisdoms were in stock as of when I went to look before I recorded this. They were in stock. $80 for a set that they have free shipping on their bag. So $80 shipped to you is a phenomenal price for a high quality set of bags. So definitely, if you're looking for the style bag, go check out templarcornhole.com to pick up a set. If you throw these bags, I'd love to hear your feedback. Again, I always love hearing your guys' opinions on the bags. I thank you so much for the support, and I thank you for watching. 